Today we're trying British snacks. Earlier in the day we went to Tesco's and we bought a bunch of traditional British snacks and we're gonna try them one by one. We've got a lot of different types of snacks. We got drinks, we have cookies or biscuits, we have chips or crisps, and we have chocolate and candy or sweets. I'm super excited. I've only tried a handful of these things, so a lot of them are gonna be new for me, so this is going to be my genuine first time trying it experience. I've tried some of them, but there's some like, for example, this I have not tried. I did feel before we began, we spent like a good 20 minutes setting all of this up and it actually looks like we're on a legit podcast being sponsored by all of these products, which is pretty I cool. Wish. I wish. <laughs> right, we've played all of our sponsorships and we're going to try our first product. It's a drink. It's called Ribena. This one is the blackcurrant flavor. And uh, Holly, I think you should do the honors. It says it's rich in vitamin C and it Probably was established isn't. in 1938. So it's Probably around... isn't rich in vitamin C. <laughs> Does it have a lot of sugar? Not as much as it used to back in the day. Back in the day it was crammed with sugar and then they reduced the sugar and it kind of just lost its way. So it tastes like a really watered down grape juice or kind of medicine-y. It's not too sweet. Do you like it though? It doesn't taste bad, but I wouldn't buy it to drink. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like the taste. Blackcurrant juice is a good mixer for, and you have to try this. So you take lager, fill it 50%, then you take cider, so that would be Strongbow or something like that, mix them, and then just a splash of blackcurrant juice, and you get a drink called Snake Bite, and it is delicious. Number two is Lucasade. And the only way I can describe this is, is the Yuko equivalent to Powerade, Gatorade. So yeah, it says Lucozade Energy, orange flavor, contains glucose. Not sugar. I like this. I think this tastes really nice. It does taste like Gatorade, like orange Gatorade to me. It's like a, a carbonated orange drink, like Fanta. Yeah, but yeah. without the sugar, I'm thinking. Okay. Um, so it's between Fanta and Tang. So Fanta and Tang had a baby and it was called Lucozade. So originally this was actually made for housewives when they first created it in the 50s or something. Solid refreshing drink, like couldn't imagine drinking this every day, but maybe once in a while when I'm working out. So, so those are our two drinks. We tried Ribena and Lucasade. Which one did you prefer? Lucasade, definitely. Lucasade, yeah, yeah. Lucasade. Ribena's good, but I don't know, it's just uh, ever since they took the sugar out because of the sugar tax, it's just never been the same, so. Now we're going to be trying crisps or chips and this first one is Walker's Prawn Cocktail. So Walker's is the equivalent of Lay's and this is the company that makes the best crisps or chips in the world. It smells good. Bit weird. Yeah, it does have a bit of a fishy smell <laughs> which is weird. But I think it weird. smells good. Alright, you ready? Alright, Chloe's also decided to join us. She loves trying new foods. Good? Really good. Mm-hmm. I like these. Okay. I would buy these, I would eat these. I love it. I like these. Slight like fishy, prawny essence. Essence, but not. it doesn't taste no. like shrimp or prawn. So these are the normal chips, and now we're going to try the fancier chips from Walker's. This does look like a fancy version. Sensation. So this is Walker's Sensation Thai Sweet Chili. Smell it. I always smell everything first. I don't think you can tell much from the smell of crisps because it's so processed. It was good, but I think I still prefer the run-of-the-mill prawn cocktail. These yeah. are just a bit too bougie. They taste all right to me. I wouldn't buy them again. They do have a slight spice, but it's it's very mild. But yeah, I'm just not a fan of the flavor. It's, it's just okay. Mm. So this next one is Sky's Light and Melty Prawn Cocktail. Sky's? Skips. Oh, I thought that was an E. Sorry. Skips. <laughs> Reading's not our strongest suit, but tasting food is. So this one is also prawn cocktail, but this is a different consistency. These are lighter. Give it Ooh, a little that's sniff. a strong smell. That's, that's very fishy. Hey, balance them on your tongue and let them melt in your mouth. Ah, I can hear it melting, fizzling. I feel like with these, after the gimmicky factor of it dissolving, the taste just leaves something left. There's not really desired. much taste. Yeah. yeah, it just kind of 
dissolves. And it also gets kind of soggy, so yeah. it's like a weird texture. I wouldn't get it again, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, it's just different, but not enough to be like, whoa. So this one is also walkers. These are Watsits. Watsits. So they are baked, not fried. They so slightly healthier. Smell so good, like cheesy. These are really, really good. Like Cheetos. Cheetos, that's it. Mm -hmm. They're exactly like Cheetos. Our next one is also made by Walkers. This one has a really cool name called Monster Munch. I want to start off by saying this is probably my favorite thing on the list. And I'm probably going to use that sentence a couple more times later on as well. But these <laughs> chips are absolutely amazing. You get them in different flavors. Uh, we got it in pickled onion, which is... Sounds disgusting, but... Pretty good. As you can see, the chip is in the shape of a claw. Our crunchy claw is plucked straight from pickled onion beasts. First thing you get is that satisfying crunch, like that crump. So that's really good. And the flavor is unmatched as well, so... If you like onion and vinegar, mmm, it's still on my tongue. It's so yummy. These remind me of Funyuns. These are so good. So far, these are my these are my favorite. In the UK, during lunch hours, you can go to Tesco, Sainsbury's, and they do lunch meal deals where you get a sandwich, packet of crisps, and a drink for three pounds. The best combination to have is the chicken Caesar wrap with these chips. These are the McCoy's Flame Grill Steak. I hope you like them. I've never tried these. Might have oversold it now. I don't have the Caesar wrap though, so. Yeah, you don't have the Caesar wrap to go with it. All right. The smell doesn't really have a nice smell. Do you smell them? Steak chips, right? You're not supposed to smell chips, you're supposed to eat them. These are the real McCoy's. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be fooled. All right. They're all right. They're not, it's not wonderful. I know what it tastes like. It tastes like um, ramen noodles. Mm. Like the beef flavoring in ramen noodles. That's what it tastes like to me. I mean, I'll take that. yeah, it's all right. I don't think I would buy it. We have made our way to our final packet of crisps. Hula Hoops Iconic Barbecue Beef. Never tried this. I've only had salt and vinegar and ready salted Hula Hoops and those are great. Not heard good things about this, so I'm a bit really? hesitant. Yeah. Oh, so when I was taking them out, I was like, oh, they're, the salted ones just look boring. Let's go with some flavor. Sometimes boring is good. Mm -hmm. Exhibit A. Give it a sniff. Doesn't smell nice. Mm. I like the shape though. Can uh, put them on your fingers. Yeah, so that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to collect all the rings and then. It's like bugles then. Have you had bugles when you no. put them on your fingers? I used to do that as a kid. Okay, so I'll try one out. Very dry and they don't really taste of anything. That's a um, no from me. Ah, not very good. No. Very salty. Four hour candies we've got round trees pick and mix red is my go-to color for candy so this is soft candy it's coated with sugar mm. very chewy so these remind me of gumdrops these are maybe good for like a movie snack the second candy that we're gonna try called wine gums tangy soft cell candy oh no i got the yellow with sugar coated on it. So when you think of wine gums though, I would think that it would be filled with like a wine flavor, but it isn't. No, it's no, no, just no. the name. All right, cheers. Cheers. Good. It's a good combo of sweet and sour. Yeah. That is good. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mm, the orange one. Mm. The purple one was all right, but the orange one is way better. Mmm, these are good. I would recommend these wine gums. 100%. Okay, now that we've finished with the candies and the sweets, we are gonna be trying chocolate. We're gonna try three products <laughs> of Cadbury. First one being the flake and- uh, What's your nickname? So yeah, let's try it. In fact, I want you to open this. Okay. It's messy. That's why I said you should open it. Yeah, okay. It's messy. All right, I'm just gonna bite a chunk off. So it just looks like a a log of chocolate that's really messy. Crumbly, flaky, very crumbly. Flaky. Lives up to its name. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
it, you do create a massive mess when eating this, but it is so good. So it kind of just looks like a piece of wood. It doesn't look very appetizing, does it? No, it looks like it's melted chocolate. Yeah. No. Yeah. But it tastes really good. This is Cadbury chocolate melted over Frosted Flakes. And uh, they're delicious because Frosted Flakes or Frosties are amazing and Cadbury chocolate is amazing. So you two wonderful things. It's incredible. These, this reminds me of like trail mix. When you take pretzels and cornflakes and then you just mix it with chocolate. Yeah. Huh. Our third and final Cadbury product is Fingers. And again, similar setup to the other products. It's Cadbury's chocolate poured over, in this case, a straight biscuit that kind of looks like a finger. These are like Pringles. Once you open a packet, it just goes. Well, you eat the entire thing in one setting, right? It just goes. Yeah. It's not my fault. I'm not gonna lie. These are underwhelming for me. Hater. I'm not really a hater. fan of the finger. It's kind of like a Twix minus the caramel. Um, and... That's a good one. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't taste bad, but it's not something I would... It's not my go-to. Now that we've finished up with the Cadbury section, I feel like we have to now move on to the cakes. We're starting off with Mr. Kibling, six Viennese whirls. Um, have you ever had a Viennese? Viennese? Mm -hmm. Viennese whirl? No. Oh. It's like a scone. Oh, they look good. These are so cute. If you can see, the inside has like, a, looks like a strawberry jam and then some sort of cream. Let's try it. I've never had these. These are good. They're very good. Mm -hmm. I like the consistency of the cookie, the shortbread. Yeah. It's really good. If it's shortbread. It looks like shortbread to me. I don't know. Whatever kind of cookie it is, it's delicious. Um, can't really taste the cream. cream. The taste short... the jam. They have quickly become my favorite biscuit. It's basically a cookie, a digestive cookie with chocolate on one side of it. I like them. They're so good. I probably eat like two or three a day. So the biscuit itself is has a crunch to it. Mm -hmm. It's not a soft biscuit, it is actually a hard biscuit, but can't beat it. The next item on our list is custard creams. Okay, so basically it's just a biscuit with vanilla filling. Yeah, I feel like this is what an old person biscuit would be. Oh, it's very cute. It says custard cream in the middle with a cute little design. It does feel quite... Oh, it smells yummy. Quaint. Smell it. Feels like old Britain, 1950s Britain, you know? Yeah. Post-war tea time. Smell it. It smells like like when you go into a bakery, that's what it smells like to me. Yeah, I've had something similar to this before. Just like a cookie like this with vanilla in the middle. It just wasn't called custard cream. I think you'll have these type of biscuits all around the world with their own name. We just got done with eating custard creams. Did you like it? Yeah, it was good. This is another very traditional biscuit. It's called bourbon creams. And again, it's from Tesco's. They're pretty much the same shape, same setting and everything. But these are chocolatey. So it's chocolate biscuits with a chocolate filling? In short, yeah. Okay. In short, yeah. And the other one, the Where custard cream is like vanilla, vanilla cookies with vanilla filling. Yeah. Okay. Why is it called bourbon? It's good. I feel like this is a good tea dipping biscuit. Yeah. I always prefer if it's like not all the same, like chocolate biscuit with vanilla filling or vanilla biscuit with chocolate filling. But it's good. It tastes good. There are better ones out there, but there are also far worse ones out there. So uh, if you don't know what to get, head your bets. Okay, our next cake is the Tunnix Tea Cake. So it has a biscuit base topped with marshmallow and covered with milk chocolate. So these have been around since 1890. Inside is actually quite big, but because it's marshmallow, it's super, super light. And it comes in this silver and red foil. They're really pretty. It's good. It's really rich. It reminds me of um, a moon pie. It is so, so sweet. The marshmallow cream has a lot of... Sugar. Yeah, it's like very, very sweet. Sickly sweet. Mm. Yeah, you could probably only eat one of those and then... One, I'd say half. I'm half. literally done, but... <laughs> but they're good. They they're are really good. good. They are good. Mm -hmm. This is Fox's fabulous half-coated milk chocolate cookie all the way from 1853. In short, they are the best chocolate chip cookie going around in the market right now. Personal opinion, 
So this is exactly like the digestive. There's biscuit on one side and there's like a chocolate covering. A little more decadent than the digestive. Extremely more decadent. Instead of tasting like a chocolate chip cookie, it tastes more like an oatmeal raisin cookie. Mm -hmm. I know there's no raisins in it, but it tastes like an oatmeal cookie with chocolate chips with a chocolate base. According to Ali, these are the most traditional British snacks, Jaffa Cakes, also by McVitie. The only reason I say they're the most traditional, they're the most noticeable one because I've never seen anything like this anywhere else. So it's both a cake and a biscuit. Yeah, it says it's a light sponge cake with a dark chocolate and a tangy orangey center. I like orange. It has a nice citrusy smell. Spongy, nice orange, gooey. Yeah, these are really good. Not too sweet. You could eat, you could eat a lot of these. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the fake orange that they put in, fake orange jam jelly that they put inside mm -hmm. is uh, the perfect amount of sweetness. Mm -hmm. After trying all sorts of British snacks, Stuffed. we've uh, narrowed down our favorites. So for me, the, my favorite chip is the Monster Munch. And my favorite biscuit is the McVitie Digestive. And my favorite candy would be these wine gums, the tangy ones. I would have to agree on the candy. I feel like these were absolutely amazing. I would pick these three items as my typical British snack that you must try if you're ever in the UK. Or if you know someone that's going to the UK, ask them to bring these things. This is not a sponsored post, but we will happily, happily, happily take sponsorships from Maynard Bassett's, McVitie's, or Walker's. Thanks so much for watching our British snack vlog. We hope we've inspired you to want to try some of these. 